Hello everyone, today is all about prepping and priming the skin for foundation. Now I'm going to start with a review and recap of some of the products that I've discussed in hauls or favorites videos before and I'll start with the SK2 Whitening Source Clear Lotion. So as many of you know by now I switched from the Facial Treatment Clear Lotion which is their standard clear lotion that is a toner and I have switched to the whitening one ever since to clear up some of my acne scarring and I can say that I have seen visible results from this clear lotion already. Already. I love that it's a thicker gel formula and it really sinks into the skin. It absorbs almost instantly considering it has more of a rich gel formula as opposed to the water-like toner that is the facial treatment clear lotion. Now if you have acne, I do recommend sticking to the clear lotion. It's an alcohol-free toner, whereas the whitening source clear lotion will not help prevent any acne. Instead of focusing on clarifying the skin, the whitening source focuses on whitening. So that's the major difference between the two. Now for the facial treatment essence, which I use as a serum primer of sorts. And this goes after the toner, which is the whitening source clear lotion. And I like to place this in my palms and rub them together just so that the liquid doesn't fall down my my wrists when I apply it to my face and I just pat it in massaging it into the skin and it just really helps to seal in the clear lotion and prep for our serum which is the Aura Essence, the version released in Asia, but they're essentially the same thing. It comes in a droplet like this, and it really does brighten the skin on contact. Now, I've had great luck with the Aura Bright so far, and I really love it because it has an instant brightening effect, just like the Whitening Source Clear Lotion, except you see how smooth your skin looks. And again, I have normal to dry skin nowadays, and I haven't suffered from dry patches using this, and it works really well under makeup, which is why I like to use it during the day. After over four weeks of using the product, I do think that it is one of the best layering serums out there, and I do highly recommend it for those trying to whiten the complexion. I am a little bit fairer. My tan is naturally fading finally, right around when summer comes back, but I do think that it does help to create a more even toned surface to the skin. And I do have acne scarring, and you will see my face bare. If you watched my videos last year, you will see a drastic improvement. My skin is no longer active and boiling red anymore so I am grateful to see those results and I do think that all the skincare that I've been using really does make a difference I exfoliate regularly I use my Clarisonic so because of all those methods I do think that my skin has seen a drastic improvement and I no longer really have any active breakouts the only thing I suffer from is scarring and of course blackheads which have plagued me for years now as far as primer goes I use a few different primers if you have oily skin I highly recommend the hourglass mineral veil which I talk about all the time and if you have normal skin I highly recommend the Cellular Rose Brightening Serum this is the CC Lumi Serum by By Terry and I use the color number one which is Immaculate Light now the reason why I use the Immaculate Light is because it has a brightening effect so as you can see I have a, this whitening brightening trend going on thanks to my acne scarring so I'm really happy with the regimen that I've been using and I do think that it helps my foundation look better and now without any further ado I'll show you how I layer my skincare and base makeup products to achieve the most radiant, flawless base possible. I'm going to use two pumps of the Whitening Source Clear Lotion on my Shiseido Cotton. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my face. And this is, again, a toner. So it will cleanse, clarify, and prep the skin for serum and any other products that you put on top of it. Now I'm pouring the essence into my palms, and then I'm just going to gently press this into the skin. Then I'm going to take about three drops of the Silumination Aura. If you have dried, very dry skin, I do recommend using a few more drops. And now that I've given all my skincare some time to set, I'm going to finish off with moisturizer. And I'm using one that's slightly more mattifying. 
I really love this one because it brightens my skin instantly. It does make me look a little fairer because of the pearly pigments, but once it smooths into the skin, it looks completely natural and very dewy and luminous, but not greasy. And now that the primer has settled down a little bit, I'm going to use a mix of two of my favorite Armani foundations, Lasting Silk in 6 and Luminous Silk in 4. And because you can still see some of my acne scarring, I'm just going to go over those spots with a concealer and blend them in thoroughly. And now that my blemishes have been concealed, I'm just going to set with a little bit of powder. And I'm using my matching Armani foundation since I haven't used this one in a video in a few weeks. And that is my complexion complete. So now I'm just going to put on some color and I'll be right back. If you're interested in any of the color makeup that I'm wearing, feel free to look down in the description box below and you'll see a list of all the makeup that I'm wearing. Now, whether you prefer sheer coverage or medium full coverage as I do, just make sure to prep the skin properly. Layering your skincare, whether you have oily skin or very dry skin, will prevent dehydration and more importantly, it will allow your makeup to sink in properly to the skin and it will prevent your makeup from flaking, moving, or even caking throughout the day. As we're always reminded, good makeup always starts with great skincare. So I wish you all the best of luck and if you have any further questions about any of the products that I use, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment box and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.